I'm John Shope. I own Dirty Bird Concepts, Phoenix, Arizona. I started with a soft tail, a 2015 soft tail for this build. I've had my head down for the last few years and I've been working on, we call them dirty tails. And we take a soft tail, which everybody knows they ride like shit, and we switch the whole back end. It's kind of like a Dyna or a Road King when we're done with it. We give it the old FL uh, style shocks and you know, we do a few different variations, but my mission kind of was to do an old Cholo or old vintage style bike with a twist of today. So we have a neck kit with the trees that puts the tubes behind the neck. They handle amazing, ride amazing. We, we've made all kinds of parts for them and I'm still making more parts and uh, it's just, uh, I love them. Tons of challenges in the beginning, obstacles. I had to talk HHI into building the net kit. I had to assure them that I was gonna, this was gonna take off. And I also got American Suspension to do a bolt-on net kit, which uh, I, I basically caught them somewhere, showed them one of the early bikes that we did without the kit, and just, uh, they loved the idea. And they were kind of feeling like maybe the bagger thing was kind of tapering down and we need something different. As far as these dirty tails go, my favorite thing about them is the way they ride. We made a center stand that's spring-loaded. They sit down on the ground. We have front and rear air. You don't have to use it. And the great thing about it is you could take your bike. You don't have to do a 26-inch wheel. You could leave the 21 on it or the 18, pull out that whole back end, throw it in the garbage because that's where it belongs, and, and put in our swing arm kit with our air ride. Or, or you could do progressive shocks. Or I mean, you can just make these bikes ride amazing. The bikes are 45 grand if I do one. That's me supplying the bike. So I'll get the newest bike that I can. I'll get a 17, 16, you know, and a low miles, 2,000 miles. If you want to do everything, you know, the back end is X amount. The swing arm, air ride, shocks, uh, we make the fenders. We have a new uh, stretch tank that we're almost done with. I have a, uh, we sell chin spoilers. When, we, when the front end's done, the, it's a Road King uh, whip. You know, the, the wide glide soft tail's narrower, so we made the rake nacelle, so it, it's just a unique bike. It's super exciting to get to come back. Uh, as most people know, I won it three years in a row, and I put my all into it. Last year, I took a year off. I had a couple back surgeries, been fighting all that bullshit, you know, with other things, but uh, it's pretty cool to get to come back again and try to get a fourth ring. It's, uh, it's awesome. It's not just about the ring though, it's about the ride and uh, Hot Bike puts on a super cool event. I mean, it's just, it's, it's fun. Everybody gets together, we talk a little shit, we ride, if someone breaks down, everybody pulls over and helps them. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a cool, it's just a cool deal. It's not like a show where you just go and sit there, you know what I mean, and polish your chrome. And we actually ride the bikes every day. I mean, every day has something different. I mean, I remember the first one, dude. We, me, all I could see was Yaffe's back fender and the ring. I poured water out of my boots when I stopped. I mean, it was, it was awesome, you know what I mean? And, every, and a few people pulled over, a few of us kept going, but, you know, we rode through the Blue Ridge Mountains one year. I mean, you know, just a, a, lot, of, a lot of good memories.